And welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. A very special visitor at a nursing home got the hearts racing for a few seniors. Take a look at this video from Taiwan. The home for retired veterans hired an adult dancer to entertain the residents. Some have turned their nose up at all of this, saying it's too raunchy. My next guest, believe. Look at the look at the look at, look at the guys are waiting. I'm next. I got singles. My next guest, believe this will all this was all in good fun. Our guests are here on the Factor on Censor tonight. We have with us Todd Smith of Regal Media and comedian Blame the Comic. So, guys, you know, did this retirement center for former veterans of the military go too far by hiring a stripper to get the <laughs> retirees blood going again? Man, I don't think so, man. I think that old people are probably tired of people stereotyping them, thinking that they only want to play bingo and bridge and things like that. They want some adult entertainment, you know what I mean? And yeah, yeah there are a slap a little ass in there. Yeah, you know what I mean? There's a health hazard, but if I'm 80 years old, what better way to go? You know what I mean? So I I, I think it was all in good fun. It's probably wasn't too safe, you know what I mean, considering their situation, but it's all in fun. Like, man, let people have a good time. It's not that serious. And if I'm that age, I would definitely love it. I have a lot of props for the for the for the dancers though, because I think it takes a lot more skill to balance yourself on a wheelchair as opposed to a regular <laughs> kid. That's another type of talent. So shout out to the lady, man, for, for that skill. Useless talent number 32. I can <laughs> balance myself on a wheelchair. Blaine, what do you think about this? They're making uh, much ado about nothing? Yeah, listen, first of all, those are all consenting adults, okay? That's first and foremost. And this is what you call the warehousing of adults. You know what I mean? They still got to live. They still got a life. You know what I mean? And then not only that, think about it. The, the, the nursing home probably been dead for the last two <laughs> years. Nothing going on. Yep. Uh, metaphorically and literally, people have been <laughs> dying. And this was probably the best entertainment that they could get. If you looked at the video, man, all the guys that were sitting in their wheelchair, their head was waiting one way, anticipating they turn. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> and my next, and my next, I got man, I can't wait till she get to me. You know what I mean? So my thing is, man, let them people enjoy their life, man. They don't want to know. They didn't want no magician. They didn't <laughs> want no comedian. Yep. You know what I mean? This is because I, I, I performed at some adult, uh, you know, elderly facilities and stuff like that. They should have did it like a comedy show that uh, Dave Chappelle or Kevin Hart does, where there's no cell phones allowed. You know what I mean? <laughs> Everything don't have to be broadcast. You know right. what I mean? And plus, these are veterans, man. These people that yeah. gave their time to society and to the United States of America, man, they deserve this. You know what I mean? This is a way to say, hey, we haven't forgot about you. You know what I mean? Listen, whoever got a problem, I bet if you ask anybody in there sitting with in them wheelchairs, if they were offended or had a problem, it would be a dead consensus of no. <laughs> Probably so. So, Todd, do you think uh, something like this could fly in the United States? Uh, we're talking about Taiwan here. Yeah, I, I think it'll be the same type of outrage. You know, we 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 like to cancel people in America. Everything is <laughs> is, is offensive, but these people would are, we cancel the old people, or would we cancel? The nah, they might cancel. They might cancel the old folks, bro. I mean, <laughs> might, but check it out, though, man. These old these people, these elderly, these senior citizens, not old people. They've seen all of that before. You know what I mean? They have kids and grandkids. It's nothing new. So just let them let, pe let people have fun. We, we've gotten too serious as a society. Everything is is life and death to people. Man, we've dealt with a lot of problems with the pandemic and things like that. Let these people have fun. And I'm impressed that they wore masks. You know what I mean? At least they were thinking of some safety. You know what I mean? They were <laughs> thinking of their well-being. You know what I mean? Because they might have underlying conditions. You know what I mean? So yeah, they might have a heart attack, but at least they won't catch COVID. But that so so that's a good thing that they wore protective masks and stuff like that. But, you know, I'll be apologize really quick, Blaine, before I get into trouble for saying old people, the <laughs> elderly, because I work with the elderly a lot here in Houston. Go ahead, Blaine. Senior citizens are, are, are men of a certain age. There you go. You say, you know I mean? <laughs> but that's the thing, man. Like, you know, you got to let them people live. You know what I mean? Like, they, they, 
they human. They human, and and they deserve everything that they can get. Can you just imagine that, man? They gonna be talking about <laughs> this to the new year. Do you understand? Any new residents that come in, man, you missed it. <laughs> And I really feel like whoever recorded that and put it on social media wanted the director of the, the activities director's job. That's all. That was, <laughs> that was, that was, that was a hating <laughs> move. Man. Somebody <laughs> wanted yeah. that pay raise. Somebody yeah. wanted that promotion on up. And they trying to get them out there. I don't think that the nurses on. I, people need to stop apologizing for everything. They're not really sorry. They're not really sorry. They gave them people what they want. I'm pretty sure they probably took a vote. And say what y'all want, man. Because <laughs> we you don't even know stripper. if this is a hospital. Thank you guys out of time. Blame right. the comic and Todd Smith. Thank you both for joining us here on the Factor Uncensored. And I did mean senior citizens, the elderly, <laughs> our very valuable golden, golden population. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. We love y'all.